You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Kanye West, you up to bat. Bah! Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the A. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022. Focus on you in 2022. Speaking of focus on you, I just dropped my new merch, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure if you want to cop, use the code SQUAD. You get 15% off from now to the end of the year, man. Happy holidays to everybody. Want to make sure everybody is being safe and taking care of themselves. But the new merch just dropped shit fire, too. But we back with another reaction, man. We doing something different. You know what I'm saying? Kanye West, one of my favorite artists of all time. Super dynamic, super creative super talented producer and artist you know what i'm saying we got this video kanye west reveals new list of victims being hollywood sacrifice you know what kanye west been on lately he's been wild and he's been saying a lot of wild shit. but the fact that they talking about he's talking about hollywood people being sacrificed and all that let's see what he's talking about man fire squad what's popping let's get it my mama was sacrificed. Michael Jordan, what about him? His, his mom? Dad, Bill Cosby, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. You really lost him the same day you hit number Swear one God, in the show? The same time, not the, nah, nah, it was Baby on Baby and when I like number one. Okay. Um, and when I like number one on uh, Apple Music, iTunes. You don't get to have big movie roles and be the host of America's Got Talent, the mad singer, and wilding out and think that you're mm. not going to have to sell your soul to do so. It is satanic energy that runs the industry. Kanye West has yet... Hold on, man. Before we even go any further, what do y'all think about that? Do y'all think actual human sacrifices go on with these celebrities? Like... Do you believe in it? Like, you know, some people think it's a conspiracy theory. Some people really believe that this shit happening. I mean, Kanye West said it out of his own mouth on this video that his mom was sacrificed. Anyway, let's go. Yet again landed himself in hot water over his outrageous comments. The Yeezy mogul made some pretty serious allegations against several A-list celebrities in another one of his frequent rants. So what allegations did he make? And which celebrities did he mention? Kanye West is once again trending for making wild allegations claiming LeBron James, Jay-Z, and Beyonce are among various celebrities controlled by satanic powers. He said Jay-Z. And that his mother, Michael Jordan's father, were both sacrifices. This happened when West was answering a paparazzo's questions from inside a vehicle when he went on a rant explaining why he can't be controlled. They can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can mm. control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay Z and Beyonce. <laughs> but not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. Hey, Kanye be wildin'. He don't give a fuck. When he get in one of these tyrants and he go into, like, he don't give a fuck who he talking about. Ain't nobody off limits. Let's go. West also named Minister Louis Farrakhan, even though he defended Ye Louis and Farrakhan. Kyrie Irving's recent actions in a 53-minute video posted to the Nation of Islam's website calling the charges of anti-Semitism false. He said, and just to Minister Farrakhan, I love you, but the way you read that, I took that as a slight. I don't take no disrespect from nobody. So let's get on the phone. Let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slights from nobody. Mm. Kanye continued to reveal that he believes the death of his mother, Donda West, was part of a large plan for Hollywood to control and traumatize him, saying she was sacrificed. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, I appreciate it. Michael too. Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Mm. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. He then continued, God love me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, right? Had to write net worth 400 million. 
Jesus is king. God loved me. However, ever since the outrageous allegations were made, there have been speculations that Kanye dropped these names in his rant as a way to get back at them. Mm. For instance, in Shaq's case, Kanye was probably trying to get back at him for humiliating him on Twitter. On November 3rd, Ye came to Kyrie Irving's defense after Shaq called out the Brooklyn's Nets star, an idiot, for sharing an anti-Semitic documentary on social media. I remember that. Kanye called out Shaq for being in business with Jewish billionaire Jamie Salter. The Los Angeles Lakers legend is the second largest individual shareholder of Salter's Authentic Brands Group, which owns Forever 21, Barney's mm. New York, JCPenney, and Reebok. Damn. Damn. They make us bully ourselves because of our business alignments, Kanye tweeted. Shaq is in business with Jamie Salter. Jamie first said he's 50-50 with David Beckham and 50-50 with Shaq. I said, Jamie, there's no such thing as 50-50 in business. Who has the extra 1% for the control and voting rights? Mm. Ye continued. Jamie then said he's actually got the 51% on both those deals. We as the creators and talent get so caught up in our vanity that we don't read or understand the fine print. Like Dave Chappelle said, we need to stop giving up control of our own names and our likeness. That's real. Shaquille O'Neal responded to Kanye West by telling him he's uninformed and advising him to focus on repairing his family business, Damn. possibly referencing the college dropout track. Shaq also turned Ye's recent quote, I'm not going to argue with people that are broker than me about money, back on the rapper while flexing Whoa. his reported $400 million net worth. Ouch. The controversy surrounding Kyrie Irving stemmed from him posting a link to a film allegedly containing anti-Semitic tropes. Shaquille O'Neal condemned Irving on TNT. I can tell he's not conscious. He doesn't really care about what's going on, he said. But us, I know the game that we used to love and we promote, it brings people together. And it hurts me sometimes when we have to sit up here and talk about stuff that divides the game. Now we got to answer for what this idiot has done. He added, I stand for equality. Oh, man. The whole idiot line. I think that was the thing that kind of threw things over the overboard for people, man. When, when Shaq said that with the whole, yo, idiot thing. Like, yo, bro, did you have the name call? You know what I mean? You could have kept that, you know, outside of it. You could have been like, yo, I, I think that divides the game, blah, blah, blah. But to sit up here and call dude an idiot, I think that's below you. You know what I'm saying? I think that's, I, I, I do think that that was extra as fuck. But let's, let's continue. He added, I stand for equality of all people. I've always been like that. Don't matter what religion, don't matter where you're from. Kyrie Irving was suspended for five games by the Brooklyn Nets on November 3rd after defending his decision to promote the documentary before he ultimately issued an apology on Instagram. To all Jewish families and communities that are hurt and affected from my post, I am deeply sorry to have caused you pain and I apologize, he wrote. I initially reacted out of emotion to bring unjustly labeled anti-Semitic instead of focusing on the healing process of my Jewish brothers and sisters that were hurt from the hateful remarks made in the documentary. He continued, I had no intentions to disrespect any Jewish cultural history regarding the Holocaust or perpetuate any hate. Mm. I'm learning from this unfortunate event that hope we can find understanding between us all. As for LeBron, Kanye probably mentioned him for scrapping him from the shop. Kanye West's appearance on LeBron James's The Shop was scrapped due to him spouting more hate speech and extremely dangerous stereotypes while recording the episode. Maverick Carter, who runs LeBron's Spring Hill Entertainment Production Company, issued a statement about the decision on October 11th, saying, Yesterday we taped an episode of The Shop with Kanye West, he continued. Kanye was booked weeks ago, and after talking to Kanye directly the day before we taped, I believed he was capable of a respectful discussion, and he was ready to address all his <laughs> recent comments. Kanye went in there went crazy. He used the shop to reiterate more hate speech and extremely dangerous stereotypes. He went in there and went crazy. He made the decision not to air this episode or any of Kanye's remarks. While the shop embraces thoughtful discourse and differing opinions, we have zero tolerance for hate speech of any kind and will never allow our channels to be used to promote hate. Carter added, I take full responsibility for believing Kanye wanted a different conversation and apologize to our guests and crew. Hate speech should never have an audience. Mm. Sources close to the production said Kanye West made anti-Semitic remarks during the episode. But despite all this, Kanye West is still convinced fellow celebrities haven't spoken out in his defense because they are controlled by secret masters. The rapper is given a baffling new interview in which he suggests his lack of star support throughout a series of controversies in recent months is down to a secret network which is in charge of celebrities. Mm. And he uses the recent case of Balenciaga 
Gaga's teddy bear advertising campaign, which featured children holding bondage-styled cuddly toys. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? bags as an example he told et canada this just shows you that all celebrities are controlled you know you don't see no celebrities talking about the balenciaga situation mm. right so that just shows you that all these celebrities out here don't let them influence you in any way because they're controlled by the people who really influence the world mm. however kanye's estranged wife kim kardashian is among the stars who have spoken out against the balenciaga campaign and even suggested she's reevaluating her partnership with the brand over the images which wow. was taken down as the company issued an apology in a post how are they gonna issue an apology what the fuck? how many people how many how many when they shooting these commercials and doing all this shit, it got to get approved by so many people. How in the fuck did they not know that? I don't know. Man. Post on Twitter, Kim wrote, As a mother of four, I've been shaken by the disturbing images. The safety of children must be held with the highest regard, mm -hmm. and any attempts to normalize child abuse of any kind should have no place in our society, period. X. She went on to add, I appreciate Balenciaga's removal of the campaigns and apology. In speaking with them, I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue and will take the necessary measures for this to never happen again. This rant comes just a week after Ye announced that he was taking a verbal cleanse for a month. But one thing the rapper can't seem to stay away from is controversies. This is because right. a few minutes after he made the announcement, West went on to share screenshots from his text message exchange with personal trainer Harley Pasternak. Meanwhile, fans have all sorts of reactions to Kanye's conspiracy theory. Kanye, they can't control me. I never killed anybody. Also says, my mama was sacrificed. She is going crazy, one fan wrote. Did he just admit that his mom was a sacrifice? A second fan asked. Imagine you sitting there chilling and Kanye West claims Hollywood killed your loved ones for a sacrifice, a third fan commented. Kanye West just admitted his mama was a sacrifice to Hollywood. If they kill him, this is why, mm. a fourth fan wrote. While a fifth fan added, we gotta protect Kanye West at all costs. I don't care. He spoke about his mama being a sacrifice. I'm sure most of us knew this, but him actually saying it speaks volumes. But now we would love to hear from you. Do you think Kanye is telling the truth? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. All right, so that was Kanye West reveals new list of victims being Hollywood sacrificed. Now, what was a lot in that? They were talking about the Kyrie Irving, the Shaq thing, the Balenciaga thing, all of that shit. But at the beginning, he was talking about them sacrifices. He's talking about his mom was sacrificed, Michael Jordan's father was sacrificed. Do y'all, that's one thing to believe that they were sacrificed or not sacrificed, right? But do y'all actually believe that that type of stuff goes on in Hollywood where they actually do human sacrifices for people to gain certain statuses uh, in Hollywood or hit certain levels inside of, you know, the Hollywood sector? Conspiracy theory? Or do you think it's something that actually really happens? Me, I think that shit happened. I don't even care. I think that shit happens, bro. I can't prove it. Like I ain't got. I can't be like, oh yeah, this happened. But I, I definitely think it happens though. But that's just me, man. Y'all let me know. Is Kanye West losing his mind? You know what I mean? Is, do y'all think he's losing it, or do you think he actually is on to something? And a lot of people just not trying to say. He say a lot of wild shit though. So it's like sometimes it'd be like a lot. It's truth, but then it's a lot of wild shit around it. A lot of wild factors and stuff like that. But then it'd be truth in it somewhere. So y'all let me know, man. Do you think he just crazy or do you think that they want you to think he crazy? But you already know what you gotta do, man. Drop your comment below, let me know. Also hit that subscribe button. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.